Hey friends, welcome to my channel. So, it's been a while. I wanted to start posting videos again, but I didn't just kind of want to appear out of nowhere after being gone for two months. I know there's some people who just click on certain specific videos of mine that are of interest to them, but I know there's other people who watch my channel all the time and has sent me messages about where I've been for the last couple of months. I did post something on my community tab, again, probably about six weeks ago or so, with a little bit of an explanation. Uh, but because I'm sort of feeling in that mood to start making things for YouTube again, I thought I'd make just a quick little video explaining where my head was, where I am now, and just giving a bit of context for those of you who care a little bit more about what's happening in my life. So uh, those of you who know me <laughs> will know that uh, I started a new job in the fall of last year, which is wonderful. It's going amazing. I love it so much. Uh, Part of that is finding sort of a new rhythm and a new structure. And because I was dedicating so much of my brain power to making sure I was like really doing well at that, I was finding I was getting a bit spotty at posting videos anyway. And then let's just put the whole umbrella thing out there of, you know, still a global pandemic happening. So when it came to Christmas, I last minute had to change all of my Christmas plans because I was going to be traveling um, to see my parents and then uh, Omicron hit and I wasn't comfortable uh, traveling in a group of people and then going and spending time with my parents. So I feel like we've all started to ignore that a little bit now, but there's always that looming thing in the background of like, you're still kind of nervous about being around groups of people. And here in Ontario, uh, about a week ago, they lifted like mask mandates and all mandates pretty much. Uh, and it's just, it's still a lot. So those things were kind of bubbling along and making me a little less focused on doing things for YouTube, which was totally fine. Everything going well in my life. Uh, and still is going well in my life. I shouldn't say that it's not. But then I want to say what would have been early February, end of January, early February. I live here in Ottawa, our nation's capital, and our city became occupied. I feel like that's the best way of saying that. I feel like many of you know what happened. For those of you who don't, uh, there was a protest that happened and it's often referred to as like the trucker protest, but most of the people involved weren't truckers as a profession. Um, but it was a lot of people who were upset about mandates, who were upset about masking, who were upset about like vaccine mandates and upset about our current liberal government in general, who descended here in Ottawa and dug in and stayed for three to four weeks. It's all a little bit of a blur now. And that layered on top of everything else just sort of put me over the top of being able to do anything that wasn't just sort of like getting by. I live in downtown Ottawa. Um, I wasn't as affected by the people who are like right close to Parliament Hill here in Ottawa. Uh, but I was affected where I am. I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this succinctly, and I feel like one of the best things I can do, although it's not succinct, but it's very well explained, is I'm gonna put a link down below to um, Christine, Simply Nail Logical. Uh, she lives here in Ottawa. She also has a podcast called Simply Pod Logical, and she and her partner, Ben, spoke about the protest as it was going on in a way that really reflects everything that I was feeling as well. Uh, one of the things about living here in Ottawa, we are the capital, we're used to protests. Uh, protests happen all the time. Uh, and protests happen with things that I agree with, protests happens with things I don't agree with. Uh, I am pro-choice and every year there is a very large uh, pro-life um, rally that happens here on the hill. And fine. Like, this is what we do. There's demonstrations, there's protests, people come together. Sometimes they do things to try to, like, raise a bit more attention, like blocking roads and stuff like that, uh, like marching down certain roads, and usually that sort of put a stop to pretty quickly, like, you know, do a certain amount of something, but then, you know, it's stopped because that's not um, legal to do. Uh, there are some other protests that have happened where people have like brought tents and like camped out in certain areas where eventually it was cleared out, but it wasn't necessarily like blocking anything. All of this to say, the difference with this protest is the folks came in with uh, trucks, uh, a lot of cases like transport trucks, like just big things and blocked 
all of downtown, but also were harassing local residents, just making the city unlivable. Uh, they were honking day and night with like even not only just like uh, tractor trailer truck horns, which are louder than like car horns, but also with like truck and car horns, but also with like modified horns that were like train whistles that all of this was adding up to like just an unlivable downtown and people who were going around downtown who were wearing masks or being harassed. Uh, just, it was, the city was occupied. And I don't live right in the downtown core, but where I do live, um, if I head one way, it's towards Parliament Hill, and I wasn't comfortable doing that. If I go the other way, there was a, another part of a main road here that was blocked off and also became like an encampment. So people were sort of like all around in my neighborhood, uh, just being very aggressive, harassing people, People, more people were coming in on the weekends. Um, it was a lot. And I understand this is just very rambly. It was just, there was so much in my mind. Like there were a couple of weekends when this was happening where I left my place and um, went and stayed somewhere else because I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if I was gonna be blocked in. There were concrete barriers put around the road that I live on. And for a certain period of time, uh, we would only be let in and out when like police were there to let us in and out. Um, so even though I work from home, I didn't have to go anywhere. All of this sort of plays on you mentally when it's happening. And also the frustration of knowing that there are other protests that happen, for example, like indigenous people who are trying to protest about like, uh, their land being built on or taken away that shut down very quickly by RCMP and police. And this was allowed to go on for a long time. There were a lot of like failures of government at different levels. And then when the police did move in, a state of emergency was declared in Canada. And when the police did move in, I was happy things were being cleared, but I'm never happy for like that level of policing to need to happen. Again, I know this is very rambly, but I'm just sort of trying to explain the layers of things like in my life that were happening. Like, you know, I'm still trying to perform well at my new job, uh, you know, and do that. And pandemic still stuff is still going on. And now my city has made it where I don't feel comfortable, like going out and going for walks to get like some fresh air and things downtown were closed. It was just a lot. Uh, and one thing I will mention here, because people who don't live in the city of Ottawa and also people who are part of that occupation will say it was peaceful. And there's a difference between nonviolent and peaceful. Uh, it is true that there weren't really, I mean, there were some like incidents here and there, but it's not like they were, uh, you know, attacking people physically or like causing huge amounts of property damage. Um, but the overall harassment and unlivability of the city that happened at that time was definitely not peaceful. Uh, and the comparison I'll make is if somebody, if you're living in your home, I don't know, say you live in like a single family home out in like the suburbs somewhere, and somebody has decided they want to protest you for some reason, and they come in their pickup truck and they sit on the road outside your house with like a sign in their window, fine. That's a peaceful protest. If they come up and ring your doorbell and punch you in the face, that is not a peaceful protest. But if they sit in your driveway with a modified horn to sound the uh, loudness and pitchness of a train whistle and honk that day and night for 24 hours so that you can't sleep or work and perhaps you have young children or pets and it is causing a level of inability to live and sleep and have peacefulness, nobody would say, oh, that person is peacefully protesting. That's not peaceful. It's harassment and it may not be physically violent, although I would say that the level of noise that is happening is violent physically because people downtown were having decibel levels that were uh, the kind that will cause damage. Um, but that is what people were dealing with. And I feel like I've so rambled on about this, but it took I just, I wasn't in a place where I do YouTube because I love it. It's fun. It's a hobby for me. It's just, I enjoy doing it. But when all these things are layered together so that I'm just kind of getting through a day, it's not something that I can sort of sit down and talk about like 
makeup or like what dinner I'm making. And actually one of the frustrating things was I had a really good healthy rhythm of uh, like finding more of a balance in my life. I want to say like through January into like mid-February and there hit a point where it was like I can't even focus on like meal planning for this week or what I'm going to do and I end up like ordering food more than I had been for like a month and a half because it was just like my mental capacity was drained just from getting through the day. So now our city is generally back. There are still people who protest every weekend but in the way that protests always happen in Ottawa and like fill your boots, have at it, march around, tell people what you're protesting about, uh, stand on Parliament Hill with your flags and your signs, chant, you know, do all that kind of stuff. We're cool with that. As long as you're not like actively harassing the people who live here in the city who also have no part to play in what it is you are trying to accomplish. So I found about a week ago, I started thinking that I wanted to uh, come back online, start making some videos again. I really do enjoy doing this. Uh, but as I said, I wanted to let you guys know what was going on. And now I am in a place again where yes, I'm still like very focused on my new job. I'm still trying to like get into the rhythm of that. And I'm still trying to figure out sort of my day to day of how I can put together uh, like the healthy living I want to do and like the exercise I want to do and the meal planning and like my different like hobbies and interests and find a way for all of that to work without one thing overshadowing all the others. But that's also what we talk about here on my channel is how I can do that, trying different things, and that's kind of what I want to do going forward. Uh, the next video you'll see on here is probably going to be an Ipsy unbagging because I have one of those and those ones are super fun and easy to do. So that will be the next one. And then in maybe a week or so, fingers crossed, uh, you'll start seeing some more videos from me. Thank you so much for uh, watching this and being interested in what's happening in my life. Um, I will also say, I always put a link down below to my Instagram, but I'll also just put my handle up here. Feel free to follow me there. I haven't been super active there either recently, but I would like to be more so, so feel free to follow along there. Uh, if you have any questions about what's going on in my life or I don't know, things you want to tell me about what's going on in your life, leave that in the comments down below, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!